The Boston Massacre, 1770, pitted British soldiers against local workers and resulted in the death of five men. The event galvanized many towards the cause of independence from the British. A circle of cobblestones marks the site of the Boston Massacre. In the background stands the old state house, built in 1713, photographed in 1995. In 1773, colonists dressed as Mohawk Indians threw 342 chests of tea belonging to the British East India Company into Boston Harbor. They were protesting attacks on tea and a perceived British monopoly. In April of 1775, several local Minutemen intercepted a British force of 700 in Lexington, M.A. The Minutemen intended to deny the British access to ammunition nearby. Shots were fired and a battle developed. After engaging the Minutemen in Lexington, the British moved on to Concord, M.A where they were confronted at the North Bridge by several hundred colonists. The British ultimately withdrew. The first major battle of the Revolution, the Battle of Bunker Hill, June 1775, saw over 1,000 British and 450 American casualties. In July of 1775, General George Washington assumed command of the Continental Army in Cambridge, M.A. Driven out of New York and into Pennsylvania, General George Washington regrouped his army and crossed the Delaware River to launch a victorious surprise attack on Hessian troops. The attack took place in Trenton, New Jersey around Christmas. 1776, painting from 1851. On October 7, 1777, American forces under the command of General Horatio Gates defeated British troops in New York. British General John Burgoyne retreated to Saratoga, and on October 13, surrendered. By the winter of 1777 to 1778, Washington's forces had relinquished Philadelphia to the British, setting up winter camp in Valley Forge, Pennsylvania. In 1781, French troops joined American forces at Yorktown, Virginia and attacked British fortifications by land and sea. The campaign was successful, and British General Charles Cornwallis surrendered. This article announces the surrender of British General Cornwallis in 1781, all but assuring an American victory in the war.